What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. We are going to be trying out the Leaky Cauldron in Diagon Alley as well as the Three Broomsticks in Hogsmeade and we're going to be comparing them out for lunch and seeing which one is better. Let's head over to Hogsmeade and we're going to start off in the Three Broomsticks. All right, we're gonna head in the three broomsticks. Here are the lunch options, actually. Wow, look at that, the great feast. <laughs> All right, we are seated at our table. These chairs are kind of weird, but the, the line wasn't bad at all. Honestly, once it started moving, once these tables emptied out from breakfast, we were pretty much just kept moving, moving on in. So now that we're inside, we mobile ordered our food out in line. Then once we're seated, we selected the I'm here button and then just scanned right here our table number and they'll bring our food out to us. At each table, you get this food caddy with ketchup, mustard. I'm assuming uh, this is vinegar for the fish. If you get fish, if you want it. And then your utensils, napkins, which is kind of nice. You don't have to like go up anywhere. There's no crowded area where you gotta get your utensils. I love this big cauldron too. I'm so glad we're sitting near it. All right, so here's what we got. First up, the classic fish and chips. Comes with fries. This was about $17. We'll try them out, see how they are. We also got the chicken and ribs combo platter. There's the chicken, there's the ribs, potatoes i like these potatoes they have these potatoes in thunder falls terrace in islands of adventure the corn looks actually excellent too so here it is we also got frozen butter beer it's great that you can grab a butter beer here as well and just some iced tea so let's dig in and try it out all right so here's what those ribs look like they look pretty meaty I'll tell you, they smell delicious. Mmm, these fries are pretty good. A little crunchy on the outside, but it kind of makes them really good. They're little potato slices. All right, something to note with this chicken and ribs combo, this is a piece of dark meat. So if you don't like dark meat, maybe you want to just get the chicken just to ensure that you are going to get a peek at a piece of that white meat. So dark meat, chicken, ribs. I just love butterbeer. Frozen is my favorite. If you ever tried butterbeer, let me know in the comments what your favorite kind is. All right, the fish and chips are pretty good. To be honest with you, I've never had fish and chips before. I will say they're a little greasy, but I like them. And I am not an adventurous eater. I don't eat seafood at all, but they're good. The batter is super light. They've been compared to Arthur Treacher's fish and chips, if you've ever had those. So they're good. Yeah, I like them. And these are the potatoes from the ribs. I just am gonna eat them, so. <laughs> All right, the meat came right off the bone. And they're good, they're solid. The chicken has a little smoked taste to it, similar to the one over at Thunder Falls, but it's still good as well. Final review for the ribs and chicken combo platter. It was really good. However, for the price, you're not gonna walk out of here full like you just ate a humongous meal, but it's really the experience. And you know, you're in a theme park, so you have to remember the prices are not gonna be cheap, it's, but it's great to eat here in three broomsticks. I do feel the same about my fish and chips. There was three fish and chips, they're pretty big, they're pretty thick. However, I'm not 100% full from them, but overall good. I'm glad we got to dine here. Instead of filming people eating, I'll show you guys some footage from around breakfast time when it was empty of the restaurant itself. All right, so this is a great time to explore the three broomsticks as well. Look how awesome. Even if you don't get anything to eat here for breakfast, just to really take it all in. Look at the stairs up there. See, I've never even noticed that. It's great. Over here, look at this. It's very cool. It really does feel like the three room six. Wow. Right, there's a lot of tables as well. And then over here, this is Hogshead. So if you want a alcoholic drink or even a butter beer, you can get it right over this way. See the Hogshead? And look, there's nobody here. It's awesome. Oh, 
there's some broomsticks. All right, that was a really quick and nice in and out meal. Let's hop on the Hogwarts Express over to Diagon Alley to go into the Leaky Cauldron. All right, we're headed in the Leaky Cauldron. I want to try the potted cream butter beer, and they have it in here. Here's the menu. It's a little different than the three broomsticks. You can see. We're gonna order some stuff here and just compare. All right, I like the ordering station. All right, now we need to find our table. So they gave us a table number, but they're kind of hard to find. <laughs> I gotta find 31. Oh, right here. Oh, we're really in the middle of people here. So you could mobile order. We did not. But there really wasn't long of a line at all. All right, so we got the Butterbeer Potted Cream for $5.99, the Fish and Chips for $16.99. And our discount was $2.30. So we're gonna see if the Fish and Chips are better here, if the overall atmosphere is better here, or the three broomsticks. And I'm also excited to try this potted cream. Here are the fish and chips. I will say they look better. They look less greasy, less oily. Oh, I like how they look, definitely. And the fries. All right, let's dig in. Definitely better. Less mushy, less oily, less greasy. I just look, who's in the back? I just noticed that, but yeah, a lot better. Here's my potted cream. Look at this awesome jar it comes in. Did not know this came in this jar. <laughs> I'm excited to try it. All right, let's try out the potted cream. It looks so interesting. I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, it's pudding. It's like pudding. What flavor? Like vanilla. Really? Similar to the ice cream flavor. Not too strong of butterbeer flavor, but more like vanilla-y. It's good. All right, I really like this potted cream, actually. It might be like a little, really like sweet. Like I definitely won't be able to eat all this. However, it's a nice taste. And I'm happy that I tried it. It's very similar to the ice cream, but not cold. I mean, yeah, it's a little, it's like chilled. Crystal Palace approved. The potted cream is really, really, really sweet. It's not for everybody. However, if you're a big butterbeer fan, definitely try it out. 550, you get this glass jar. It's big, you could definitely split it with somebody easy because how sweet it is, you can't really eat the whole thing. I also think I kind of like this whole atmosphere better as well. It feels like you're really more like immersed in the movies. We have serious black behind us. It's just more roomy. I don't know, I like this a lot. I think this might be the winner. So similar to the three broomsticks, all your utensils and stuff are at your table. And what's also nice is that there's free water. Look at this big cauldron. So cool. It's, it might be smaller than the three broomsticks. However, I do think it's not as busy as the three broomsticks. I don't know why, because I kind of like this better. All right, I am full. So now comparing them, I will say that the three broomsticks does have a bigger menu. So make sure you read the menus, see which one is right for you and your family or whoever you're traveling with. They do have some more lunch options over in Hogsmeade. However, the overall atmosphere and even the food, I do like better in the Leaky Cauldron, especially those fish and chips. The fish and chips over in the three broomsticks were soggy because they were so oily and greasy. The ones in here were really, really good. I also do just like the ambiance better in Diagon Alley, especially in the Leaky Cauldron. It feels more roomy. It's smaller, so it doesn't feel so much like a, like a mess hall cafeteria type, even though like that's the idea of it. But still, also in the three broomsticks, the tables were so high and the chairs were so low, so it made for more uncomfortable seating. The ones in here, they're ben just benches and the tables were a proper height. So that's another plus for the Leaky Cauldron. 
the prices at both places were the same so it's not really about price it's more about just which one you're interested in visiting more thank you guys so much for watching be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the crystal palace right down below i will see you guys in the next one peace